Hello everyone. You know me. I'm the clinic. My t-shirt says it. And for those of you who are watching closely, this past November, just days after my classic match with Aussie Lions, I made the announcement of the century. I announced that at Star K 2012 this November, I will challenge for the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship, exercising my rematch clause from when I lost the title to Lawrence Alfred at Mid-South Mania 3. And over the past few months, I've been training diligently. Now, I haven't been getting jacked up like some steroid freak, as you can plainly see, but I'm doing real training. I am watching tons of film, tons of tape from decades of wrestling history. I have been studying non-stop. Every great wrestler from Ric Flair to Shawn Michaels to Chris Jericho to all the greats, Lou Thez, Bob Backlund. And I've even been studying the wrestlers of the GWA. I've been studying the former champion who just recently lost his title, Derek Knight. I've been studying the current champion, Will Ace, and I've been studying everybody. I've been keeping my eye on what's been going on in the GWA because I know better than anybody that anybody can be the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion at any time, as long as they have the skill and the will to do it. Lil Ace, he picked his spot. He won that Money in the Bank match. He won that Money in the Bank cash-in and won the title from Derek Knight. He may be champion by the time that I walk into Starcade, and if so, I'm ready for him. I've wrestled Lil Ace numerous times over the past years. He's given me some great matches, and I have a lot of respect for him. Derek Knight. Now, I know that Derek Knight says he wants to start from the bottom up. He's been saying a lot of things about, uh, you know, what's been going on with him. And I'm not exactly sure what he means, but I'm still going to be ready for him, just in case he exercises his rematch claws and just in case he wins that title back. And there are so many others. I've been watching the guys who could conceivably be the champion. The kid may come back and win the title. I've been studying uh, BK. Even Lawrence, even the guys that you may not expect, like Crimson Prince, Aaron Riot, Barabbas, the uh, American Ninja. I mean, I've been studying all of these guys in the possibility that I may face them this November. I am focused. I am dedicated. My day starts with training. My day starts with studying. My day starts with uh, cardiovascular training. My day starts making sure that I am in peak shape, peak condition to compete in this match. And not only compete, but win. You see, the truth of the matter is that what's happened to me ever since my loss to Lawrence, ever since my firing, has uh, kind of given me a new uh, meaning of sorts, a new, a new vision of things. And I do have a lot of respect for everybody I face. Uh, and that is exactly why I know that we have so many great competitors, and it's going to take a lot to defeat the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. I know, I was the champion. But the problem is that my championship reign didn't exactly have the best legacy. I mean, I gave the title to myself. But here's one thing. I know that I can win the title. And it doesn't matter if it's from Lil Ace. It doesn't matter if it's from Derek Knight. It doesn't matter if it's from Ozzy Lyons. And yes, I know I lost to him this past November. And he is on in the very top uh, few guys of that list that could become the champion come this November. Ozzy, I do believe you have the talent to do it. But I learned a lot from that match wrestling him. A lot about his strategy, a lot about what he does, and a lot about what I can do to counter him. Lil Ace, I have beaten him every time we have gone one-on-one -on -one in an MSW ring. And that's an accomplishment. That's saying a lot because the guy is damn good. Derek Knight, he and I have traded wins back and forth. I mean, he is a tough opponent to defeat. He is one of the absolute best in backyard wrestling history. Then we have the legend Lawrence Alfred who could return at any time title that uh, he's dominated for so many years. And you want to talk about tough guys to defeat. 
I came this close in that Iron Man match, this close in the match that changed my life. But he pulled out the win in the end. I took the fight to him, and if he walks in as the champion, I can do it again. Let's look at BK. A star on the rise, a man who can win at any moment, who can break out and become the top guy. I've wrestled him, I've defeated him before, and believe me, it was a struggle. The man, his jackhammer is a brutal move, and he has so many things to offer in that ring. Jet, oh my old rival Jet. Jet could walk in as the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion if he wins it for the first time in his career. And Jet is a very formidable opponent, even now, as he is a legend, uh, he may not be in his prime anymore, but believe me, just because someone is not in their prime doesn't mean they won't give it their all. Doesn't mean that they won't step in there and give you the fight of your life. So the fact of the matter is, I know about every person that I may face. I've been looking at the Barabbases. I've been looking at the American Ninjas just in case they might up win the upset and become the champion. I am focused. I am dedicated. And here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not starting from the bottom up. I'm not going to worry about drinking all the time. I'm not going to worry about partying all the time. The fact of the matter is that I am focused. For one year, starting this past November, I have been focused on winning the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship. Redemption for my career. Redemption for my life. Redemption for who I am. I need to win the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship because my legacy as GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion before was a man who just, not even a man, was a person who just used his power to get his way. That's not what I want to be. That's not what people want to see. And at Starcade this November, it's my turn to become a man and take what's mine. And that's the reason why you haven't seen me a lot. I know, you know, I, I could come back and I could compete, you know, at every show, and it's, it would be great to do that. But the fact of the matter is that I'm focused, and I don't want to just uh, reveal all my strategy just yet. You know, that's the problem uh, that you get when someone competes on a regular basis, is you see their strategies, and that's exactly what I'm doing studying these guys. But the fact of the matter is that this November, you know, What's going to matter when I step in the ring at Starcade isn't going to be all the, the partying, the glitz, the glamour. The sheep and the goats aren't going to matter. What is going to matter is me and whoever is standing across from the ring as the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. And we are going to have one hell of a match. We are going to have a classic that will go down in history. Because I will not stop. My opponent will not stop. Because that's what it takes to be the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. Ever since 1971, dozens of people have held that title. And each one has been a fighter. Each one has been a great competitor. Each one has been the balls to the wall, will not stop until they get the job done. So I know what it takes to defeat somebody like that. I know what it takes, and I will do what it takes. So over the next few months, I'll be continuing to train. I'll be uh, checking in uh, every once in a while to let y'all know and just to put the people of the GWA on notice. And one more thing. You might see me a little sooner than you expect. Now that's a clinic.